We're back to Game Master, you master the Frank Mist here. Welcome back to Mega Man 7 Let's Play. Last time we defeated, defeated Turbo Man and did Wily Castle 1, but you're probably wondering why are we back to the title screen? You know, Wily is a castle gauntlet, right? Actually, in this game, it's a bit different. It works a bit differently. Instead of being a gauntlet, you it's now just a reorder stage situation where every time you defeat a stage, you're back to the title screen so that you can go back to our oh, shop and replenish the stuff. Which is great. You also go to our level 2 to grind for bullets if you need to. No, I need pro issue, sorry. Let's try to get through a stroller stage. It's a thriller! Thrill the fight! That's not even the close to the same, the song of right. From the shine light, get a pull. Okay, cool. Three extra, three extra life. Do 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 do. Something, something thrower tonight. Yep. There we go. Okay. It's just, yeah, but at first point four levels shouldn't get too much harder. And what are we facing? Trust me, the hard part comes pretty soon. Pretty much later, not now, but later. Virtual life, thank you. Now go up here, thank you. There we go. Okay, I was getting kind of nervous there because I thought I was going to hit the spikes, but the guy did not. Round two, huh? Ah, wait, my wig is over. This time, mighty Mega Man shall fall. Trouble, attack! This was actually a pretty cool fight. When you're going head-to-head -head -head with the adapters. It's cool, but it's also not that hard either. Well, I'm almost dead, jeez. No, oh, that's not what I want you to fucking do. I want you to go to the friggin' E-Tanks. Okay, work with me, damn it. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead again. You kidding me? All right, let's talk about, let's talk about the reference bulls off screen to get some freaking freaking get some more AE tanks. There you go. Okay, he needs to be it. Why? Why can't I destroy him? Maybe because you suck. You ever thought of that? You ever thought about the fact you just flat out suck? Cause you do suck. Ooh. I right, just gotta get rid of this guy real quick. Okay, cool. So won't be a problem. Yeah, at this point, for that, that'll be the last of base we'll see in this game, which we we'll, won't be able to see until much later. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. That's not exactly going to be helpful. God damn it, freaking bats. If you fall down, be nice. Thank you. It gives me to kill. Alright, beautiful. Damn it. Okay, nope, that's going to get over. Okay, I was thinking, that's not even enough, are you kidding me? Hashtag not worth it. Alright, let's figure out this guy's weaknesses. It could be anything! 
Let's see what turtle guy. Oh, I think it's T-Bolt, actually. That's not gonna, that's gonna quite do it. Not T-Bolt, maybe it's Ice Cracker. I know it's a pretty simple boss fight. Nope, not that. Ain't that, that ain't. Yeah, I guess it's that. Kill you. This <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's not like too much damage, to be honest with you, though. I don't think, I don't think it, I don't, I'm starting to believe it isn't, isn't it anymore. I know my else can be results, but still. Honestly, maybe Buster might, might, be the, might be the ticket, honestly. I think this guy's a hard boss anyway. Alright, well, I'm gonna heal I'm gonna heal back on air takes of this anyway, so Let's see. Slide, 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 jeez. Okay, he always freaking face. That's probably should have done that from the get-go. This boss has, this boss has, takes a pretty long time. I should, I probably should sit here with my guy Gail, be honest. I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to be a little quiet, I'm trying to focus, because this boss fight just takes forever. I don't want, I don't want to do this boss fight again, this is a thing. Alright, now he's a beat, beautiful. Now I'm gonna go cut real quick so I can go to the shop real quick and get more bolts and all that stuff. So I'll be right back. And we're back. Now we fill fill E tanks real quick and now we can continue the level. Up to the next stage, baby. Next stage, pa pa please. Okay, that's an odd way of looking at it. Alright, well we're just steward after a way to victory. Oh, no more turtle bosses to worry about. Oh, hello. Okay, problem solved. Okay, I forgot to mention this thing. This thing can home in on enemies, which is great. Of course, we can't slide to victory because it can't. Of course, we can't. Oh my god, am I... You're like that to me, aren't you? Careful, just gonna play it safe. Go to where I know there's platforms and move on with our lives. Beautiful. I can jump up, that'd be nice. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely do not need it. Just 
So they have both though, that'd be nice. Just in case, you know, just in case I don't want to go through that freaking grind session again. Right, grunt. I mean, the well, best way to do is to grind off the birds and enemies. Commonly found in both, uh, both in Slashman's and uh, Cloudman's stage, I believe. Make sure I three, two, zero. All right, three, two, one, zero. Come on, Scott, jump for this. Ah, get it. Right, one more time. Get it. Okay, come on. This is this is why I have, this is why we have rush check. Cause I don't want to I don't want to go down the path. I want to go down. God damn it. Okay, so we're going down this path after, after, after aren't we? Now you freaking, you already search a purpose. Alright, I'm going for the bubble crap again. No longer we're shooting bubbles this time around, because of course he isn't. Let me heal, let me heal, let me heal real quick. That's why I have E-Tanks ready in case such like this happens. Alright, right, now he's dead. Make beautiful. Alright. Get me the fuck out of... Okay. To be careful here. Granted, you do have a lot, do a little bit of leeway for the spikes, but I like probably like in, in NES games, you have to be pretty goddamn quick. All right, beautiful. Actually, just let's do one of these. I have, I have a feeling. Oh, I guess not. I guess not. I do remember this one, at least the noise one. I do remember this one being noise. Though this one could be quite tricky, to be honest with you. You need, at least you need, at least you need him in, you need at least him in the eyes. Damn it. Okay, it'd be great if I start over and just not die like that, not try to find like that again. Get that noise thing ready to go. That's that noise, that spring. It's just... Yeah, you do need him directly in the eyes. Damn it. God damn it. Okay, that's just, that's just awesome, ain't it? All right, let's try it again for the upteen time. This boss fight is quite difficult, though. God damn it. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. There we go. Just get away the thing as best you can. I don't mean, I'm, I'm starting to get the pattern here. Right here, real quick. I have the tanks to spare. Okay, not nice, nice, not nice. Don't get much of a chance to avoid that. That's nice. Come on. Yeah, but this boss fight is quite difficult. There's just just constant the move. There really is no way to stop and just hit him. God damn it!
Beautiful. All right, cool. All right, cool. Just, just why, why have extra green into tanks? It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. We're almost out of this fucking mess anyway. Not really. Only half, only half like through the boss, are you kidding me? That, that should that should not have hit me. And it, yeah, you don't really get much opportunity to hit him, it's a problem. Careful. All right, beautiful. All right, come on, just keep focus, keep focus, and hit. All right, I'm out of that. I'm out of weapon energy. It's fine. It's what we have these bad boys. Which heal your weapons in weapon energy up immediately, which is great. Damn it! All right, come on. We're almost done with this goddamn boss fight. We're almost done. And now then, yep, there we go, beautiful, finally, dead, you're dead, you're fucking dead. Now, thanks to you, I go grab more bolts now to get more energy tank, because of course I do. Which, of course, I'll be right back with that, see you guys in a second. All right, one last stage to go, one last stage to go. And of course, if you know Capcom and Mega Man, you know what that means. Of course, I got directly down. It's time to go do the everyone's favorite part of every Mega Man stage. Ah, did it. Let's, let's, let's reload that. I was not ready for that it's kind of shit. And a bolt. Nice bolts. I will take that easily. Make it easier myself here. More bolts better. Beautiful. Yeah, that means boss rush! Everyone's favorite boss rush. And because you already fought this boss fight before, there's no point in me showing him again, so I'll cut back into why I got all these boss fights done. So I'll see you guys in a second. And we're back. Yeah, it took way longer than I hoped it would have, but hey, here we are. And clearly the boss rush did a good number in draining my resources. Fortunately, with this weapon energy we have here, we can take it out pretty easily. And now it's time to go fight the final boss once and for all after all of that because it felt like it's I felt like it's up for fucking ever. It's just all right, get your ass over here, Doctor Wily, you fucking Wily Waterkin. Just asking to die. Just asking to die. You already feel it. Here's what I'm getting here, didn't you? So the, for the, as of the first phase, it's not too difficult. Uh, his main weakness is Thunderbolt, or that, or, or that much. You can kind of lose track of the small things, but usually what I do is just three, then, then, then slide. But because he, because it's a kind of unpredictable, but there is a way to circumvent, circumvent it, and it's best you get, you get out of the first phase without taking as little damage as possible. Trust me, you're gonna need it. You're gonna need every bit of damage you have at the muster. So yeah, hang around the, the rights. Wait, wait for him to do the, go for the jump in the air. All right, you can do the jump attack. That's fine. Once again, it's pretty easy to get into a predictable pattern. It's just no given to have power to begin with in the first phase. All right, and now for phase two. So get your spring suits ready. It's time for the most infamous boss fight in Mega Man history. And when I say infamous, I mean that in both the literal sense. Wally well, like Capsule 7. But people will know to be, 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 to be the hardest fight, final boss fight in Mega Man history. 
And they aren't kidding. This fight is quite this fight is quite difficult. But as long as you have energy tanks, you should be able to win this fight. It's taking a little bit easy taking a little bit easy on Aaron Wiley. I missed him it. And his weakness is a spring suit. Of course it is. Damn it. Ouch. And some of those, like the Ice and Fire one, do have the same elemental properties. Which sucks. Fortunately, like I said, if you have E-Tanks, you should win this fight. You're, you're, gonna, get, you're gonna get hit. A lot. But you but you should be fine. Right. I shouldn't use one energy just yet. Damn it. There you go. Damn it! Fuck. Show your face, Wiley. Damn it! Alright. Show your face. Alright, time for us to heal our weapon energy. It's only one of those. Wow. Okay, that's fine. Damn it! Off, 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 off. Whee! Okay, there we go. Oh, I should probably heal. I should probably heal. But yeah, you should go out saying, this fight is indeed difficult. Damn it. God damn it. Fuck, cut, come on. Oh, leave me alone with a fucking fire attack. God damn it. I don't gotta use a freaking tank already. I hope I don't die in the first goddamn phase. Maybe I'll cut. Regard, that's not the correct one. Get on the get on get on the correct. There we go. Damn it! Damn it. Come on! Show your face. Really, it misses. God damn it, the freaking fire. Oh, give, give me a second to fucking react. Alright, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm already dead. Beautiful. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Fortunately, I can look back. So, cut back when we get to that fight real quick. Alright. And we're finally back. So, what has happened was that I just kept dying this boss over and over again. So what happened was I died, got went back and grabbed more bolts so I can buy a lot more shit. And now it's time for the final boss. But this boss fight, yes, it should go without saying. You hear the legends all the time all over the place. It's fucking hard. It is easily one of the hardest boss fights in video game history. Easily the hardest in... Mega Man history. Oh, there is a way of beating him. And unfortunately, it's required for you to completely stock up on, on on things before fighting him, but there is a way to get him into a pattern, but even then, you're still going to probably get hit. Like that. That's why you make sure you stock up the e tanks and weapon energy for you for each other to fight. Because you're going to get hit. A lot, actually. So what you're going to need to do is first make sure you're fully equipped and ready to go in the fights. And then you're going to pretty much make sure the spring thing is charged. Hold up on it to make sure it still follows that kind of similarity. And really the hardest thing for them to avoid, to avoid are those goddamn elemental thing bombers. And I don't know, how did I get stuck some luck in a fire thing there? But whatever, I'll take it. The way to properly avoid it is you can jump in the air and have them and bait them to go upwards so you can slide under them easier. Now sometimes you will get hit because it is almost next to impossible to uh, to take the hit to take the pretty much take the hits and uh, avoid it as best you can. So that's why that's why it's important you bring your e takes. Otherwise, this guy's gonna be a humongous pain in the ass for you to worry about. And if there's any of them you can afford to get hit by, at least the yellow one. Because electricity one, like, they don't, there's, no, there's, no, there's no secondary effect to it. And that worked somehow. Not sure how, but it did. <laughs> and, yeah. Pretty much, if this falls through all of that, you should have the fight from a beat. 
you will win this fight if you're completely stocked up because you follow this kind of method. It looks like I did right here. Just don't go into it half big like I did, like, like an idiot, because you're just not going to win, unfortunately. Whatever. It's over. We finally beat him, and Dr. Wiley has been defeated once and for all. Okay, I give up. Sorry about all the trouble. I'll go quietly. Yeah, I fall for that shit. I don't trust you, Wiley. I'm gonna do what I should have done years ago. Holy shit, you're gonna fucking kill him? <laughs> that was a kid's game. <laughs> you forgot, Mega Man. Robots cannot harm humans. It's literally the first rule of robotics. I am more than a robot. Well, this kind of came out of nowhere. Die, Wiley. <laughs> this is coming out of fucking nowhere. Jesus Christ almighty. Well, I guess you're gonna wish. <laughs> okay. Just a little bit closer. Here comes Base City. Too late, Mega Man. Oh, too late, Mega Man. He who hesitates is lost. We shall return. If that was proper English, I would accept that. <laughs> ah, translation. They try, the, only, the only thing they fixed was the damn thing. That's the only thing they fixed in the reflection. It's like... <laughs> and that is it. And there we go. There's your cool-ass... Fuck, uh, cried scene where him just walk away from the burning castle. That thing is fantastic, and I will never. That's probably one of the best things this came, uh, both ironically and unironically. But that was Mega Man Seven. Overall, a decent Mega Man game, but unfortunately to me, outside of changing it from the from the first being the first 16-bit Mega Man game, it doesn't do a whole lot to really differentiate itself from the crowd, in my opinion. Like, take away the SNES sort of 16-bit graphic, and what else does this game want to offer that the other games didn't? Sure, I like the extra secrets and stuff, but, like, I mean, that that's only that's only as good as it, get, as, as it gets. And what, plus, or Mega Man X already did that a couple years ago. I came here before. As I say, however, though, this is still one of the better Mega Man games. An easy 7 out of 10. <laughs> see what I did there? But, well, seriously, no, yeah, it's a 7 out of 10 for me. It doesn't do a whole lot differentiate itself, and some of the bullshit your pun parts are kind of bullshit. But I did like some of the things that this game implemented, and it is all around a decent Mega Man game. Just ranks below six, three, and two for me, and, and a little bit above four, five, and one. But that is exactly right dead in the middle. I think it's exactly where it's fitting. And yeah. Next time we meet up in the Mega Man universe, will be Mega Man 8. And since next week for me is finals week, I don't feel like going to Pokemon Leaf Green just yet. So we can do Mega Man X2 next to continue this Mega Man Mega Moning marathoning. Plus, Mega Man 2 X2, I don't have to worry about like overstaying things because, geez, there's like, I don't think there's anything as like, hard as there is in like those in this game. Because like it's been it's been because it's been so long since I did anything Mega Man related, I figured it might as well. To be fair, it's almost I did anything Pokemon related, but I tried to last year. I really did try to, but yeah, next time we're in the Mega Man universe, well for the classic series anyway, it'll be with Mega Man 8 for the PlayStation. But that won't be for a little while. And yeah, jeez. Like, I, I, I don't think this is one of the more contentious titles of Mega Man, which is not really saying a lot, because there really is nothing to be contentious about, because most Mega Man games are pretty solid. Uh, and this is just, once again, just another solid Mega Man game. But, like, I just, like, my only issue is it didn't really do a whole lot. Outside the Secrets and... Secrets and Isle Shop, which, that, which, that's Secrets of Absorb and Savage Mega Man X, this doesn't really do a whole lot to really differentiate itself. By the way, level design isn't really that great. It's not the greatest. It's not terrible. It's just not really, you know, it's more rudimentary for the most part. And plus, it kind of feels, kind of just feels a little. Plus, every weapon really hits the mark. Yeah, no Mega Man game gets all is a complete A plus in weapon energy. But here, I only found I I can already find over the Thunderbolt and 
I guess it really wants you to super adapter. That's really it. But yeah. But yeah, I guess it's not. I mean, no, I wouldn't really call this game a starting point for Megman either. I still think Megman 2 is the easiest, the best starting point because of different, there are difficulties because Megman 7 can be kind of difficult sometimes. We're not talking about Megman 1 or 4 bullshit difficult, but it can get kind of close. Uh, I mean, look, this is a fun game, but just that's one game. It's, like, it's kind of like Donkey Kong Country 3. It's like coming from both these games back to back, where they're just like games of our time. Like, you don't really do anything to really give me a reason to say, hey, these are a hot highlight, the, the, the crowning jewel of their series. But they're not really terrible. They're just fine games. Just fun, fine games. And hey, I guess it's more than they asked for for a video game. I mean, that, it just doing the basis of something, I guess. I mean, there's only really not so much outside this game, to be honest with you, besides just a reoccurring boss fight from this point forward. But, like, <laughs> even though I only see that for, like, as long as only, only matters of one game, be Mega Man 8. <laughs> yeah. So, the, that album, that, that, that end Craig scene is pretty iconic. And with that, we have reached the end of the Mega Man 7 Let's Play. So thank you all for watching. I've been your master, the Frank Master. And we'll get to any Master Games out uh, next playthrough. So I'll see you guys then.